This is a quick guide on how to enable SLI in Fallout 4. I will be showing two methods. But first, make sure you have all your graphic drivers updated to the latest version. Also, make sure you have SLI enabled on your system. If you don't know how to do that, right click on your desktop, go into the NVIDIA control panel, and into the SLI settings. Where it says SLI configuration, make sure maximize 3D performance is ticked. Then hit the apply button that will show at the bottom right of the window. The first method requires you to download a little piece of software, where the second method doesn't, but is less reliable as it may cause frequent crashes when playing Fallout 4. First step is to download the NVIDIA Inspector from Guru3D.com, which I will put the link in the description. Open the file with WinRAR or any software that can extract from RAW files and extract the folder to your desktop or our preferred location. Go into the folder and run NVIDIA Inspector. Once that's opened, Click the little tool icon to hop into the game profile settings. Where it says profiles, type and select the Fallout 4. In the SLI compatibility section, for this SLI compatibility bit setting, click on the drop down box and select Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Others have chosen other profiles such as Batman Arkham City or Max Paint 3, but I find that choosing those will give me some lighting issues when playing Fallout 4. If the Far Cry profile messes up visuals in your game, you go back into the settings and experiment with different profiles. So once that's selected, scroll down to the SLI section. For these three settings, you want to select the GPU count to the amount of cards you have in SLI. So for me, I've got two 780s, so I choose GPU count 2 for these three settings. When that's done, just hit apply changes on the top right and that should be done. If you want to try this method and have already tried the first method, make sure you set the values you've changed to the default value. This method doesn't require any download software, but may not work, or may cause frequent crashes. It works for me, but will crash once or twice an hour. Okay, so right click on your desktop and hit NVIDIA control panel. On the left side, click on manage 3D settings, go on to the program settings tab and select Fallout 4. If Fallout 4 isn't in the drop down box, click add and select Fallout 4 assuming you've recently launched it. The only setting you have to change is the SLI rendering mode. Change the setting to Force Alternate Frame Rendering 2. It will prompt with a warning box, but just click on Yes, then hit Apply. Here are some comparison videos of SLI enabled using the first method and without it enabled. Come on now! 